Good evening folks and welcome to this week's episode of Beer Rating with Sean Connors. It's uh, April 14th, 15th. Uh, we're still in April 14th, I believe. Uh, still in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, everybody's doing well so far, so we're only hoping for the best. Hopefully nobody's going too stir-crazy. Uh, as you can see, the beer I had today is Hoppy Boy. And Hoppy Boy is out of Garrison Brewery in Halifax. Uh, last couple of months I've been doing theme months, different countries, whatever. This month I'm just doing random beers that I have in my fridge. So This is one of the ones that my friend Mike, I've mentioned several times, he gave me a load of beers, travels a lot. Getting uh, down to only a few left, and this is one of them. So as I said, it's a Hoppy Boy, I'll read the label, Garrison Brewery out of Halifax. Uh, they've been there since about 1997. And you notice the name Hoppy Boy, it's B-O-U-Y as in, or sorry, B-U-O-Y as in a fishing boy. And Garrison Brewery, as I said, they're out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, which is a seaside town. And the, the brewery itself, they've had several different locations and they've always tried to be down by the water. They, got, they consider themselves a seaside brewery type of thing. And a lot of their beers, they have a nautical name to them. Uh, 6.5% alcohol, they consider a strong beer. And the style of beer is American style IPA, Indian Pale Ale. So let's pour it up and see what we got. They say this one, um, it's partially unfiltered, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit cloudy. And they also say there's a flavor of mango in it. Let's pour it up, give my glass a quick cold water rinse as per usual. Actually quite surprised. I thought it would be a little bit more unfiltered. This is actually clearer than I thought. No, no, actually no. It's actually it's quite a quite cloudy. Wow, a little bit of sediment in them. I'm assuming that's a yeast. Um, I don't see a best before or anything else. So hopefully the beer is fine. Um, not a lot of room. There's a faint. Almost a fruity aroma. I can definitely taste the hops. Hmm. Um, I'm not a big fan of heavily hop beer, and it's not bad, but it's a little bit more hoppy than I prefer. Uh, a little bit about IPAs in general and then we'll talk about American IPAs. IPAs in general, Indian Pale Ale. How they came about is the British were ruling India at the time. So there was British soldiers in India and they wanted some beer. So they wanted the beers from their homeland. The problem is that the trip by boat from England to India by the time they made the trip beers would be bad. The regular beers at the time, they were pale ales, whatever it might be, they wouldn't last a voyage. So what they did, they added extra hops as a preservative. And lo and behold, with the extra hops as a preservative, it made way to India, and thus was born Indian Pale Ale. Now the difference between American Pale Ale and your regular English Pale Ale. Generally what they say is the English Pale Ale is Bitter yet smooth. They say it has a light mouth feel. Uh, the finish is normally anywhere from bitter to hoppy, and generally you'll get a flowery or a spicy flavor. And American American IPAs, basically they say there's a bigger hop profile, so you're going to taste the hops more. And generally you're going to get either a tropical fruit flavor or almost like a piney flavor. And with this one, as I mentioned, they say mango. I'm not really getting that, but I'm definitely getting some fruit aroma. And the difference actually comes, it's not a matter of adding extra items, whether it's mango or whatever, it comes down to hops. English IPAs, they use American, or English hops. American IPAs, they use American hops. Um, one thing I read in, um, in my research, they say the difference between American pale ale and English pale ale they said one is polite and classy, sorry, polite and classy, and the other one is loud and proud. So I'll let you guess which one is which. All right, so to give this one a rating, as I said, I'm not a big 
IPA fan. I don't mind them, but I'm, I, I don't, I'm not a big hoppy person. So I gotta give it a rating. Um, I'll be honest right off the bat, I'm not a big fan. Uh, it's a lot cloudier than I expected. And I'm getting some sediment in it, which is not really to my liking. Um, to give it a rating, I don't think it's going to get a big rating. Because honestly, I'm probably going to finish it, but it's going to be a challenge. Um, take another another sip. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I can definitely finish it. And normally my ratings, a one is, don't like it, can't finish it, it's going down the drain. And for a second, that's where I was leaning with this one. I've never given that low of a rating. A two is, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I'll finish it. A three is a good beer. A four is a very good beer. And a five is the best beer ever. For, for the Garrison Brewery, sorry, Garrison Brewing, Hoppy Boy. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to give it a 2.5. I was leaning towards, initially I was leaning, leaning towards a 1 because I didn't think I was going to finish it. And then I was leaning towards a 2. Now I'm leaning towards a 2.5. So I'm a little bit conflicted here. Bear with me. I know it's going to be a lower rating. I know that much. Yeah, I think I'll stick with my 2.5. So that's anywhere from a, yeah, I'm not a big fan, I'll finish it, to it's not a bad beer. So 2.5. And this is nothing technical about this. It's just my own personal preference. And with that being said, I'm still kind of itching to say, no, it's a 2. It's no less than a 2, that's for sure, because I'm definitely going to finish it. Um... I think I'll stick with the 2.5. Not a big fan. I know I'll finish it. Um, it kind of grew on me a little bit. So I think I'll stick with my 2.5. So there you go, folks. That's for the Hoppy Boy American IPA from Garrison Brewing out of Halifax. 2.5. As always, until next beer, enjoy responsibly. Uh, as far as the pandemic going on, take it one day at a time, folks. That's all we can do. Don't get me wrong. It's a pain in the ass for everybody, including myself, but... It is what it is, so bear with it. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Let's get through this together and wash your hands. Cheers, folks.